Hey everyone and welcome back to another edition of Rip and Forky. So I've got a subscription box here, the Grand Slam Card Club, which I saw on Jab's family channel oh, about three weeks ago. And I thought, hey, let me give it a shot and see what we have in here. Um, so what they have, they have three different tiers. They have Rookie, All-Star, and Hall of Fame boxes. So um, let's take a look and see what we have. The Rookie box, it's the standard. Uh, four to five packs for $23.00. The Rookie Plus, 8 to 10 packs for $40, which this box is. Uh, the Rookie Premium, 12 to 15 packs for seven uh, for $57. We also have the All-Star Standard, 4 to 5 packs for $50. All-Star Plus, 8 to 10 packs for $95. All-Star Premium, 12 to 15 packs for $135. They also have the Hall of Fame boxes, which unfortunately I wasn't able to find any information, so I can't put up any type of uh, graphic for it. But the standard box is four to five packs for $90. The plus is eight to 10 packs for $175. The premium is uh, 12 to 15 packs for $260. They also have uh, basketball starting from $58, football starting from $31, and NASCAR starting from $35. And also, uh, when you order, there's they always pop up this 5% off code uh, Grand Slam. So type that in, and you'll get 5% off your order. So I went with the Rookie Plus uh, pack, uh, box here. And um, 8 to 10 packs, $40. So I thought, ah, that's a pretty good deal. You know, you can get 8 to 10 packs. It'll be like, you know, $5 a pack. So what am I expecting in here? I'm thinking more than likely probably a flagship uh, series, top series one, series two, maybe some heritage in here, uh, maybe some lower end like uh, opening day or, or big league or something like that. So, uh, but for the price point, I thought, hey, that's within my budget. And they do have uh, all kinds of boxes uh, for anyone's budget. I mean, if you want higher end, they have higher end. If you want lower end, let, you know, you can go with lower end. So what I'm going to do is we're going to cut the seal on the back and open it up and see what we have. And I believe that we do get some kind of bonus in here. Might be a, a relic or something like that. Let's take the packing penis out. Oh yes, there is, there is a bonus on here. I see it right away. Okay. So let's take a look and see what we have. looks like a Nelson Cruz. And yeah, so it's a Nelson Cruz and it is from Gypsy Queen. So that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. I like that. That might go into uh, my Monday giveaways or mystery packs or something like that. So let's put Nelson Cruz right up there. He's already got it team sleeved or uh, penny sleeves, I should say. Um, and uh, I'll leave the description at the bottom and see what we have. So let's take out all of our packs and see what we can find inside this box. I'll put this, put this together, we'll stand it up. I guess we can put it in the back there and we can move all the stands at the front. Hopefully it'll stay up. No, it doesn't want to stay up. Of course, just my luck. All right, there we go. We'll lean it, we'll lean it back. We'll make it. We'll make it work. It's only a box. Okay, so let's see what we have. So we've got a Heritage a Hobby Pack of 2021. I believe that is uh, the low number series. We got a Topps 2004 Series Two. That's interesting. And this is a nice one. Uh, Topps Update 2017. That's a Hobby Pack. So we got two Hobby Packs. We got three Hobby Packs. Four Hobby Packs, 2020 uh, Update Series, nothing great in here. Randy Arizarania's in there, and we got an opening day. Okay, so I thought, it we, I thought we might get some lower end product in here, and that's fine. Uh, opening day 2021, and we got a Hobby Pack of 2021 Update. Very nice. I like that. So I think the hit odds are 1 in 24, also 1 in 24. Uh, one in 18 in a hobby. Uh, was it 24 or 36? 136 probably. And I don't even know if there were autographs back in 2004. And let's take a look. We've got uh, Optic. And uh, I don't believe that that's a hobby pack. But we do have a hobby of 2021 Series 2, which is cool. So one in 24 odds there. And uh, we've got 2021 
uh, high number heritage. And that is, I, I guess the H on there means that it's a hobby pack. It doesn't, doesn't have the hobby with the little star shooting out. You know, so I'm not sure. Maybe they changed it. I don't know. I ne I haven't opened this yet. So put the heritage over there. Um, let's just go with it. Let's go with it. Uh, 2004. Uh, let's take a look back in the past 18 years ago and see what the cards look like. I may have opened one of these in a, a box or something like that. But yes, I have opened these before. So for the Padres, we got Jeff Cirillo. We've got uh, Kareem Garcia for the Mets. For the Diamondbacks, we have an Elmer Dreesen. Wow, you, some of these players I don't even remember. Johnny Estrada, I remember him for the Braves. And then we have a postseason highlights. The Fish win the World Series. And I believe that that was their second World Series I'm going to go with. I'm going with second. It might have been their first, but I believe it's the second. We got something shiny in here. That's pretty cool. Whitey Ford, Ford wins World Series record 10th game. That is pretty cool. I haven't seen that. I think that's going to go into my Yankees uh, team set. Not numbered, but still. Nice looking card. I like it. Uh, we got a uh, Guillermo Mota. Haven't heard of him. We've got a Daryl May. Pitchers. Haven't come across any rookie cards. Jack Cust. Tony Ritchie. And it's a draft pick, 2003 Cubs. Don't think he really did anything. And what do we have here? Available March 2004. Okay, so it's just uh, figurines. We got Ichiro, Albert Pujols, and Sammy Sosa. So kind of just like a, I don't know, a, a dummy card, promotional card in there. All right, so let's go with opening day 2021. Not expecting too much out of this. But you never know. Let's uh, see if we can find one of the uh, the top rookies out of here. There's only seven cards in here. So we're going to start off with uh, Med Rosario. We've got a Future Stars of, wow, uh, Brendan McKay. I do, that's the only thing about this, these cards. It's the printing is so small on here. Kyle Schwarber. And we got a Legends of Baseball Stan Musial. We've got a Jacob Junis. Not even much better on the back. Isak Paredes, rookie card. And a Joey Gallo. All right, so what do we go with next? Um, let's go with update and see what we have. Now, there's still a chance to get an, an autograph or a relic in here. Um, relic doesn't look like it's going to happen. Autograph might happen. You never know. And we're going to look for the uh, Randy Arizarania. We got Daniel Hudson, Cole Calhoun, Tuan Walker. Joey Votto. We've got a Jason Castro. Tyler Wade. Jonas Cespedes. Logan Forsyth. Thomas Nito. There's a Starling Marte. And that's a throwback to... Oh, gosh, I can't even remember which one this is. Throwback to... It's not... Uh, I'm not even going to try to guess. Uh, we got a mile high 10, Giancarlo Stanton all-star game, Brett Anderson, and a Sean Murphy rookie card. So not too much coming out of there, which I kind of expected. Um, let's see if we have any short prints or anything like that that came out of there. I know we don't have any numbered cards. They would be pretty obvious, but no, I don't see anything. I don't see anything numbered in there. So, so far, the best, I think the best card that we pulled was this Whitey Ford. I think I'm just going to get a penny sleeve out and put that up there. As, um, our pickings are kind of slim, <laughs> unfortunately. But, you know, this is the rookie box, so it's lower end. And I'm not expecting anything huge out of here, but you never know. You never know what we're going to go with. All right, let's go with Heritage next. And we'll and let's see. So this is the low number. Heritage is always tough to pull anything out of. And I think the high number, I think there's only one autograph per case. So, yeah, I'm really soured by Heritage. Although I like the design. I love the 72 design. But, you know, other than that, um, you know, save your money for something else as far as I'm concerned. Uh, Mike Zanino, Kyle Wright. We got a Jonathan Davis. Raffy Devers. Oh, we got an auto. Oh, <laughs> Chris Chambliss. And that's from the Indians. Oh, my God. <laughs> and it's, num 
It's hand numbered 35 out of 72. I'm just bashing this, and then all of a sudden we pull an autograph. <laughs> wow. So I remember Chris Chambliss with the uh, with the Yankees. I don't remember him with the with the uh, with the Indians, but that is a wow. That is an on card. I'm I'm so kind of flustered. I'm just going to put that down and grab a penny sleeve. Um, that I actually pulled a, an on card auto, and it's red. I don't know if there's a difference between the red and the blue, but it, it's numbered out of 72, hand numbered, hand autographed, hand signed. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. So, hey, you know, like I said, <laughs> I'm bashing Heritage, and then all of a sudden I pull a, I pull a, a numbered auto out of there, Chris Chambliss. Wow, that, that is something. That is absolutely something. Maybe I should bash it a little bit more every time I open up this product. <laughs> All right, so let's go through the rest of it. We got a Tucker Barnhart, a Keegan Thompson, uh, Jonathan Arise, and a Yermin Mercedes. And that's not his rookie card. That's okay. Maybe that was, I don't know, was that high number? I don't know. I'm not sure. Well, I can tell by the... The back. So it was high number. All right. So I opened, I got everything confused. So it was high number. I never opened that before. Now we're going to go with low number. So in high number, there's only one autograph per case. So that's considered a case hit. Wow. That's absolutely amazing. All right. So now we'll go with the low number. Uh, actually, this is, wait a minute. This is not no low number. Is this, this is minor league. Wow, it says Major League Baseball, but it looks like minor league players coming out of here, so this might be Heritage Minor League. And there's a good chance of getting an autograph out of this. There's uh, 18 packs and there's two autographs, so we might get another autograph. Greensboro Grasshoppers, Travis Swaggerty, Tri-City Dust Devils, uh, Jordan Adams. We got a Jake Snyder from the Brandonton Marauders. And oh, that's a pretty cool card. As Al Cruz, Ed Howard for the uh, Cubs for the Arizona League, and I don't know what that card is, but it might be the uh, like the replication of the box topper. That's pretty cool. Uh, Khalil Rosario for the Twins. There's a Blaze Jordan. All right, I'll take that. I'll take a Blaze Jordan out of uh, Heritage. Heritage is treating me well today. Treat me well. Um, please forgive me, Heritage, but uh, the last two packs have been pretty darn good. We got a Justin Lang for the Arizona League Padres, and we got a Hilberto Hernandez, and that is for the Charleston River Dogs. All right, so pretty cool. I didn't think this was going to be a very long video, but it's turning into one. Um, my apologies, but you know we got the uh, we got the hit out of there. I was very happy out of that. So, all right, 2017 update series. I know I've opened this. I don't know who's in it. It could be something good, but I would well, right now I consider this box a win. Um, we've got a Lisa Roto Bonilla from the Reds. We've got a rookie of Sam Tavares. Christian Arroyo rookie card for the Orioles. A lot of rookies in here. Andrew Benatendi, that's a pretty decent one. Um, rookie debut, rookie card. Uh, Francis Materas, rookie for the Astros. Haven't heard much about him. This, is that? No. It's a gold card. Okay, I thought it was a gold card with that coming down. So we got a Brad Hand for the San Diego Padres. Gold card numbered uh, 1288 out of 2017. So numbered card, can't beat that. So these packs are pretty good, pretty darn good. So yeah, let me know what you think in the comments about, about this box. So far, I like it, you know, considering it's it's low end, maybe I just got lucky with some, some of the packs. Uh, we got uh, Meat of the Mets, and okay, all right, we'll put that one down there. Uh, Giancarlo Stanton, uh, All-Star Game. Justin Turner, All-Star Game. And a DJ LeMahieu All-Star Game. All right, so we got three packs left. Let's get the Optic. Let's do that. 2021 Optic. Four cards in here. And let's see what we can pull. This was the only Panini product in here. Everything else was tops, so that's pretty cool. All right, so we got a Lucas Giolito for the White Sox. We got a Garrett Cole. It's going to be a pitcher's pack. And we got a rated rookie, uh, Brady Singer. And that's got like all kinds of stars and speckly stuff in there. I don't know if that's numbered or not. It is numbered. We got another numbered card. 58 out of 149. All right. 
So, hey, hey. I don't know if they knew I was going to film a video for this box or not, but <laughs> it's pretty loaded. And then we're going to finish off with a Ronald Acuna Jr. Mythical. So, yeah, I'm liking what I see. Uh, let's save update for last. Let's go with Series 2. Chance of an autograph or a relic out of here is 1 in 24. I do like Series 2. I do like the throwback cards. I'm trying to complete a few sets here of uh, inserts, and I think that's been the best set of, best thing about uh, Topps 2021 it has been the insert sets. Uh, Albert Azale for the Cubbies. We got a Luis Severino for the Yankees. And there is a Jonathan Villar for the Mets. We got a rookie of Shane McClanahan for the Rays. Uh, Hassan Kim for the Padres, rookie. Alexander Bogarts for the Sox. Uh, Trevor Rosenthal for the Dodgers. Or Dodgers Padres. Wow. Okay. Uh, Alex Cobb for the Angels. We've got a Kevin Kiermaier for the Pirates. We've got a Javi Baez, uh, 70 years of... Uh, of the Cubs, no longer the Cubs, Mets, and now I think he's, where did he go, Detroit, go to the Indians, he went somewhere. Uh, we've got Isaiah keener Falifa, a Victor Reyes, a Starling Castro for the Nationals, and a George Springer for the Blue Jays. Last pack, I think we might have used up all of our magic. Seriously, I mean, I'm very, very, very happy about this box. And Grand Slam Club, if you want to take a look at this video and, and see what I pulled and use it as a promotion, go right ahead. Feel free. We got a re rookie debut of Casey Mize, uh, Aaron Hauser. We've got a Jazz Chisholm Jr. rookie debut. Rookie card, pretty cool. A lot of rookies in here. This is going to be a rookie hot pack. Tyler Wells for the Orioles. And we've got a Chris Flexen, uh, Patrick Wydell, rookie for the Brewers, uh, Andrew Krasner, I think I said that right, Kinsner, one or the other, either or, and we've got a, oh God, these, an Erie Arzania, I guess I got that right, I don't know, smack me, that's fine, Freddie Freeman, all-star game. We've got a Joe Adele rookie debut. Pretty cool. Uh, Drew Pomeranz for the Padres. We've got a Joachim Sirica or Soroka. Spencer Howard rookie debut, rookie card for the Phillies. And we got rookie combos of Trevor Stevenson and I don't I can't even see that. Nikki Senlin. All right. So let me know what you think in the comments. Overall, I think this was a pretty darn good box for, for $40. I don't know what that Chris Chambliss is worth. It might be, I don't know, five or 10 bucks, but still. I mean, it's the thrill of pulling something that rare out of a, out of a you know, a, a subscription box. It's pretty, pretty darn good. Um, all right, so we started off with the Nelson Cruz. So we knew we were going to get something. We got the uh, Patrick Relic from Ellen and Ginter. Uh, first card that we pulled that was actually pretty cool was this Whitey Ford uh, World Series. Whoa, and I just slipped right out of my hands. My hands are very dry right now. Uh, World Series highlights, 1962. Whitey Ford wins World Series 10th, his 10th game. That was pretty cool. Brady Singer with the, I don't even know what they call that. It's all kinds of stars. It's a rated rookie, and but it's numbered out of 149. That was definitely cool. Um, probably one of the top... Uh, Minor league players you can pull, uh, Blaze Jordan uh, for the Red Sox. We got a numbered card of Brad Hand, and that's gold. And it's hard to tell the gold this year, but you can see the streaks coming in there. So that was pretty cool. And then the banger was the, the Chris Chambliss on-card auto, auto, number 35 out of 72. And it's his all-star rookie card from 1972. I don't know if he actually played in 1972. Yes, it was his actual rookie card in 1972, not his actual, actual rookie card, although it could be. I don't know. 
I'm going to have to take a look at the date on there. I don't think it is, but if it is, no, it's not because it's uh, it's got the, the lettering up top. All right, everybody, I'm sorry this video went so long. It's, wow, 20 minutes. If you stayed the whole time, thank you so much. Um, I, I truly appreciate it. Grand Slam uh, Card Club, look at them right there, uh, grandslamcardclub.com. Go take a look, monthly subscription. This box was $40, and they will deduct $40 every month and send it out to you uh, monthly if you are interested. All right, if you like this video, give me a like. If you like this video and like this channel, please subscribe. And if you're a subscriber, ring that bell and you'll get notifications each and every time I do a video. And don't forget, Giveaway Mondays starting up again, starting this Monday, February 7th. All right, everybody, have yourself a great day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.